Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Palomino SS1251. This camper is compatible on a half ton, three quarter ton, or one ton truck with a six and a half foot bed. To get started on the outside, you'll notice we have the cool gray, high gloss exterior fiberglass. It also comes with a friction hinge door, so you simply open the door up and it will stay right where you leave it. We also have an integrated shade here with the window on the door so you can close that at night time for privacy. Oversized grab handle to help you in and out of the camper. We also have a porch light with an on and off switch on the outside. Right above that is gonna be a black box that is pre-wired for an observation camera. An observation camera will allow you to see behind you the entire time as you're traveling down the road and while you're backing up. Very beneficial if you're gonna be hauling a boat or a trailer behind you. You'll notice that the roof lifts are all electric on um, all four corners here. And the jacks are manual. They come with a manual um, handle or it also comes with a cordless drill adapter. So you can put that into an impact gun and run your jacks up and down that way. As we move around to the side here, um, there is gonna be a little bit of storage that is integrated with the camper already. And right behind that, we have your refrigerator ventilation with the condensation tube. You do want that tube hanging out to let the condensation drip outside. Furnace vent, on-demand water heater, which is gas only, but it's uh, much lighter than our gas electric water heaters that we've used in the past, and it's also 60% more efficient. Right here, we have your outside shower with hot and cold water, fresh water tank connection, so you can fill up your fresh water tank, turn on your water pump to use that water if you're dry camping or boondocking. Two 110 outlets here. It is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. Your sink will actually drain right out the side of the camper. This will unscrew and you can hook up a garden hose and run that into a tote for your runoff. And right beside that is your city water connection. If you're at a campground or at your house, you would simply hook up your water hose right there and that will pressurize the lines for you. Up front here, we have quite a bit going on. Um, the jacks are gonna be pre-wired for electric. So if you ever wanted to upgrade to electric jacks, you'll notice there's a port on each corner that is already ran for you. 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. So it won't drain your battery if you're gonna be sitting for an extended period of time. This is just a holder for your seven way cord that can sit right up here if you unplug it. And then also an additional charge port station that will go directly to your batteries. The cord that comes with the camper is a double-sided seven-way male cord. The spot on the camper is exactly what you'd have on the back of your truck. So you just plug this cord in, run it all the way back, plug it into the back of your truck. That will charge your batteries as you're traveling down the road. If you're gonna be parked overnight, we recommend to unplug this. So that way, if your batteries die on the camper, it will not drain your truck batteries. As we move around to the front side here, you'll notice the black canvas and the black front end with the Palomino decal that really pops on there, gives it a nice sharp look. And uh, one thing that I failed to mention, this is the Badlands edition for this camper. So what that means, there's three additional options. There is a 100 watt solar panel on the roof, as well as the Thule roof racks. So you can add like a kayak or bicycle up there. And it also comes with an outside battery tray, which you'll see right down here. So there's already one battery tray inside and you can actually add an additional battery tray on the outside. Over here, we have your emergency exit window. You can see that's opened up already. And then in the very back, we have your 20 pound LP tank bottle and that will be filled by the Outpost RV. And then right down below is gonna be your dump station. And that'll conclude the walkthrough for our Palomino SS 1251 Badlands. Now we'll move to the inside. We wanted to demonstrate the roof system before we move to the inside to help you guys out when you're loading up. So we've already lowered the roof a little bit uh, just for sake of time. And what we wanna show you is the max air vent fan over the bed. If you turn that on high, if you come inside and close the door, it creates a vacuum which will pull the canvas in so you can lower the roof down as you're closing up and heading for home. So I'm gonna step inside, close the door, watch the canvas and you'll see it pull inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice that the 1251 has a lot of storage in here. It is also a model that will include a bathroom um, with the toilet and shower area. The remote right here inside is what's gonna run your roof motors up and down. 
And if you ever decide to upgrade to electric jacks, that would also be the remote for that. This green light has to be on, on the control switch there, and that is what gives power to the remote. Right inside the door, we have some nice storage drawers, as well as where your refrigerator sits. And your refrigerator is going to be a three-way. It is gas, electric, and 12 volts. And we're gonna step inside and get a nice overview here of the entire camper. We'll spin around and show you the toilet and shower area as well. Really nice feature to have as you're traveling down the road, have everything right inside and ready to go for you. So right above the refrigerator, you can see a nice countertop area. And right above that, we have your canvas hanging storage bags. Those are nice, you can unhook them, take them inside, load them up and bring them back out and have them ready to go for you. In the kitchen area, we have a single bowl sink with the cover there for prep space or a drying rack. Two burner stove top with the cover. 110 outlet here. There was also one on the other side. Plenty of outlets in here. Directly down below, we have your furnace on the left-hand side and then your on-demand water heater control on the right-hand side there. Down at the very bottom, there's a little cargo net area. So if you have some loose items you wanna keep from rolling around, you can actually place them right there. There's that other 110 outlet in the kitchen area. We have a couple fold down doors here with storage, as well as the furnace control, your thermostat, and a 12 volt charge port right at the end there. Up in the bedroom area, it is a queen size mattress, a 60 by 80. You have foot locker storage on both sides of the bed. And then up top, we have your max air vent fan. That is what we turned on to demonstrate uh, the canvas being pulled in. I would also like to point out that on all the way around the camper, all of the uh, canvas will have a darkening screen on the inside and then your clear plexiglass and then also a screen. So you can unzip the camper all the way around and get some really nice airflow in here. We do have a window that will match up with the back of your truck. Right here with the dinette area, you can see lots of seating here, the table, can also be pulled off if you need a little bit of extra room and that carpeted base will pull up so you can store the table leg right there. Down underneath, you'll notice we have a lot going on underneath the step up into the bed. Since this is the Badlands edition, we have your solar panel on the roof in the top left corner. That is your controller for the solar panel. Underneath that is your breakers and fuses with the white sticker and the green light is your carbon monoxide detector and then a 110 outlet and the switch for your water pump as well is right in the back. And we also have another overhead storage cabinet right in the back area here. And then above the shower area, we do have a skylight. And you'll notice in the bathroom, lots of counter space here, as well as a storage that will stay dry for your toiletry items. Shower head. And then the toilet and bath right down below. I'll step back here so you can get a good shot of that area all together. And that will conclude the walkthrough of our Palomino SS1251 Badlands. Thank you everyone for watching. Feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you and have a great day.